mountain, how steep it is. Umpqua Hot Springs is legit. Campground is, is really nice. Hey, how's it going? I like that. <laughs> Are we gonna need those? leaving the Willamette Valley area of Oregon. We had an amazing time. Uh, we spent a little bit more than we were expecting to, all those wine tastings. So rather than us continuing down the Willamette Valley area, we decided we would go kind of compensate, make up for it, and enjoy some time in nature at some free BLM land in the Umpqua National Forest. And that's on our way to Crater Lake, which we were already heading toward anyway, so it's kind of perfect. Um, we can enjoy some free camping. We do have a rather long drive ahead of us. We don't normally like to go more than like 120 miles in a day. I think today is going to be like 180. It's supposed to be three hours and 43 minutes on Google time, which is probably like an hour additional and we have to stop and get gas. So it'll be a long day, but let's do this. We got into this habit actually of double checking the route that the Garmin likes to give us because sometimes it is wonky. And this time it's trying to get us to go over the Wheatland Ferry, which I'm sure will save us time, but I'm concerned that we're too long because the max length on the ferry is 42 feet. You have to be, was it 5% smarter than the tool that you're using? <clears throat> and Liz decided to go finger around inside the Garmin and found this button called Detour. And lo and behold, it's taken us away from the ferry, which is exactly what we wanted. We've had this Garmin it for saves what? saves four minutes I, I, too. And it, what, it saves four minutes? Why didn't you just give us this Continue in the first place? Okay, this, this is a perfect illustration off. of the frustrations we have with this Garmin sometimes it's beautiful most of the time but sometimes man it's like come on why did you send me this way you know why didn't you give me this route to begin with so i guess the tip here is always double check your route <laughs> especially if you're towing something big and make sure that your gps whatever it is isn't sending you some weird wonky way service gas stations in Oregon. This is a treat, dude. So I don't know if you can tell right now, but there's a bunch of smoke everywhere while we're driving. There's no fires in the immediate area. There's fires all around us, except for on the coast. And we're definitely seeing it. Like you cannot see the horizon line or mountains, you know, three quarters of a mile ahead of you. So it's pretty wild. So if you're gonna be visiting Oregon or anywhere on the West Coast for that matter, in the heat of summer like we are, get ready. Cause it's, it'll be a little smoky and there'll be some concern about wildfires everywhere. Clearwater River Road up to the campsite in Tokiti where we're trying to get to is, is a little twisty. It's one lane, all gravel. You don't really need four wheel drive, but we did it just for extra traction. Take your time, take it easy going up. You know, you might have to stop and wait for somebody coming down or something like that, but it's, uh, it's very doable. Campground it is really nice. There's a pit toilet here. You're right on a lake that's like crystal clear blue and there's people fishing over there. I saw someone with a hammock and the spots also accommodate bigger rigs. Now, obviously we're not saying all big rigs will fit. You're gonna have to kind of figure it out, but we are 36 feet, 13 feet tall and we got in here no problem and found a spot. So pretty sweet.
So it's always a good idea to actually walk the campgrounds on these BLMs before you pull in, just in case you get in there and you can't turn around, you gotta back out or something wonky. campground we're in is technically government land but i guess it's managed by the power company that runs the uh the turbines it's not really on any blm map we found it on campendium and the guy i was talking to at our campsite was telling me that all of this was built in the 40s and used to supply most of the west coast with its, with its only source of power now that we're to 2018 they're just a drop in the bucket for the power production on the west coast there's so much water coming through this thing right now that they're diverting from the river that it's actually busting holes and spewing tons of water out of the pipeline. And I don't know how they're gonna fix it because it's made out of freaking wood, like a wine barrel. So, and it's just cinched together. We're finally making it out of the trailer for today. Uh, it's what time? I think it's like four o'clock. It's like four o'clock, but that's cool because we got a ton of stuff done editing some more photos. Liz did some uh, real estate investment business this morning. That was super successful. Yeah, so, the internet here is incredible. That's true. We actually do not have any AT&T service. Nope. But that's fine because we use two carriers for this exact reason. So we can't make any phone calls on our cell phones, but we do have a Verizon puck for how we get internet. That is like through the roof. Yeah, we have dude. like five bars of 4G. It's incredible. So now we're gonna go to, to Cody Falls. You can almost see it from the campground. We almost didn't tell them where else we're going. Umpqua Hot Oompqua Springs. Umpqua Hot Springs. Until you just said that, I forgot we were going to mention it. Are you it kidding them. me? That's like the whole reason. <laughs> we're here. Yes. I love Hot Springs. Yes. And that's kind of another thing uh, that I'm not really upset about it being so late in the day. Maybe it'll cool off after the hike and we'll hop in the Hot Springs and it'll be a nice hike, hike back to the truck. So. Yes. We've heard there can be some nudity. So we may or may not show you the end um. result. <laughs> it all depends on how many nude bodies are around. We're going to try and keep this No, no, this no. We'll PG. show you other people's nude bodies, just not ours. No, we don't. We, we will not show you any <laughs> nude bodies. Do not worry. We this is a, a family-friendly channel. <laughs> a little blur thing. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. They said there was a lot of stairs around 100 involved getting to the falls and we found them. If you were not physically able to do that many stairs in one sitting, you might have to sit this hike out. But if you're able, it's definitely worth it. we decided we would go to the hot springs which i'm so excited about the umpqua hot springs we just arrived and the road here was really bumpy um pretty rough yeah i mean but, doable without four wheel drive but you're gonna need to take it slow slow but we got here and the parking lot is rather full which is kind of disappointing but what can you say it's like a 0 0.3 mile hike one way yeah. you can park right next to it convenience and it's a natural hot spring i mean come on it's gonna probably be pretty busy I may or may not have mentioned how steep it is, especially to dentists. It must have slipped my mind, but it's about a 300 foot elevation change in like 0 0.3 miles. No big deal. No big deal. We're going to push through. Mm -hmm. No big deal, y'all. That's the second person we've passed that's braless. And we haven't even gotten to the springs yet. <laughs> <laughs> This is lovely. 
Yeah. There's a lot of nudity. <laughs> this is definitely not a family friendly trip. And if you're a little bit shy, maybe skip this. But if you are okay with lots of nudity, Queers. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. This is beautiful. Here, right along the river, I'm literally sitting in a geothermal hot pool on the side of a mountain, and the temperature is awesome. And it goes from being, there's like several pools cascading, so it comes from the hottest at the top all the way down to obviously the coolest at the bottom, and each level does make a difference for the heat. Also, come earlier in the day or midday when there's less people obviously from being at work, because it is quite crowded here. We were able to get a pool, but there's lots of people. Yeah, Umpqua Hot Springs is legit. I literally feel like we're back at Yellowstone and we're swimming around inside the Minerva Terrace. Like, because it's stacked just like that if you saw our pics from Yellowstone. <laughs> I mean, what time is it right now? After 11. Oh, it's 12.30. Yes, good morning. It's 12.30 and we haven't even begun to leave. We're going to go to Crater Lake today um, and do maybe two hikes there, depending on how much time we think we have once we get there, because uh, it's going to be about six miles total-ish, five and a half, six miles. But what I wanted to show you is what Liz actually made for us to take to pack a lunch on this hike. This is like my favorite hike snack ever. It is tuna fish, a little bit of avocado mayo from Thrive, mustard, um, Kalamata olives, artichoke hearts, spinach, and a little bit of cucumber, and then some spices. It's very delicious. Oh yeah, don't forget about this. Oh my. So this is the Grand Design factory equipped solar panel trickle charger. By the way, we have more on the roof now, but this thing uh, gives us up to, I think, 10 amps worth of service if we have perfect solar. The only thing is this uh, entire campground is going to be mostly shaded for at least half the day. So we've supplemented a little bit with the generator just to keep the batteries topped off, but not bad. Way less than we used to run it. I like that. <laughs> Are we gonna need those? Ah, uh, no, you'll be all right. I just wouldn't recommend any uh, strenuous hiking today. Ooh, okay, because we were planning on doing about six miles, but that's probably not advisable. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Not okay. with the air quality at the way it is right now. Then okay. What would you say would be like the best thing to do right now and see like some views of the lake? Uh, so views are pretty bad right now, honestly. Darn. Um, pretty hazy up there. Uh, you can check out the visitor center, 20 minute park film. Okay. Um, some short hikes, just the Discovery Point Trail, Discovery right point. along the rim. That'll be your best bet. All yeah. right. Well, here's that. Wonderful. Awesome. Appreciate it, Thank bud. Thank you. Well, that's a bummer. We knew the farther south we went, the more smoke we would see, but we didn't know that we'd get this bad. And it was kind of funny because as we were driving to Crater Lake, I kept thinking to myself, like, it smells more and more like campfire. What those dudes are doing are actually being proactive about fires. They're cleaning up and stacking all of the uh, downed trees that are really dry right now. And they put them in those cones and then they do like a bonfire style burn whenever it's safe enough. Basically limit the spread of the fire. You know what I mean? So they'll have one little pocket that they, that they can manage and then it won't spread as quickly throughout the entire park. See, this is exactly why I bring a jacket, because we got here and it's so windy and it's much chillier than where we were. Um, so this is exactly why I always bring layers, sometimes two jackets. I always have a pair of gloves in my backpack um, and uh, typically an ear warmer, because I can't tell you how many times when we've gone on hikes that we were not expecting to have anything cold and you get there and it's freezing. So it's better to be prepared. Pretty disappointing that we can't really see Crater Lake in all its glory, 
but it's still cool to be here. It is actually the deepest lake in all of the United States, and 7,000 years ago, a volcano erupted. So we're actually in the caldera, which is the inside of the volcano. It pretty much collapsed on itself, and then from all the snow and rain over 7,000 years, it made this beautiful lake. And if you can see that little island right there in the middle, it's called Wizard Island, and you can actually go there if you prearrange a shuttle Obviously, you'd want to make sure it was a beautiful day to go, but it's supposed to be one of the very best hikes and you get the best view of the overall crater lake. And also, that's still an active volcano. So that could go off today or any time in the future, which is pretty cool. I actually personally like the smoke. It gives it like a moody kind of mystical feel. I, don't, I mean, that looks like a wizard's island. is really cool here. We love keeping track in our passport book of all the places we visit. It just lets us know like which national parks we've gone to, gives us the dates. Sometimes there's really fun ones like Crater Lakes. We really like it. So we're in the Pacific Northwest. beautiful spot to view the lake if it was a clearer day because you can, you're kind of really at the core of the crater so you can see the whole thing it would be really cool and if you look down you can actually get a glimpse of how blue and clear the water is it would be so beautiful to come here on a nice summer day 